I ask again for you. You see the whiteboard, right? Uh -huh. Yes. 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 Yes, I see it. Yeah, yeah, super. In the last class, we start study the exponential function. It's a new function that you never see before because you see polynomial, you see rational, but never the, the exponential. And the exponential uh, is a nice function because the domain is a real number. No restriction. Uh -huh. But the range, you know, the range is always positive number, no inclusive, so zero, zero comma infinity. Okay, because then uh, you never can expect negative answer in the point. No, no. So, say, well, no, the typical point, the typical, typical point to plot one exponential points in plural is the universal is 0, 0,1. You plot this point, 0, 0,1. Uh, one comma the base in this example is two, but on another example, not necessarily is two, is three, or four, or five, or four point five. So that is one comma two. Here, I plot the second point and negative one comma half, get the reciprocal of the base. Negative one half, I suppose to here. When you connect in this point, okay, and you can additional another point, for example, two is four here. This is our exponential that is a increasing function. That is the reason that so, somehow the this exponential is called a growth exponential because it's increasing. And one more important thing, one more important thing. Any graph of the exponential function contain horizontal asymptote. At y equals zero. Is like this kind. Okay. Horizontal asymptote at a y equals zero. It's a classic. Uh -huh. See the base is another value, no problem. Suppose we get the test. The first question is do the graph of the exponential. No? Suppose k is, you know, and the test, y equal three. But no, it's the same, it's the same. Universal point, zero comma one. But you plot now one comma three to three because the base is three, you know, this point is one comma three. That one comma, in general, is one comma the base. And the base is three in this example. And negative one is, Negative one comma reciprocal of the base is one third. One third, you take this semi divided by three, is approximately here. Now my graph look like, like that. Okay, obviously is increasing faster because the base is bigger, no? And the classical horizontal asymptote at y equals horizontal. This idea is clear. That you 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 are you are aware to do the graph of the any exponential. Uh -huh. And I don't know so in the in the test I put three, four, five, six, one point five. Uh -huh. Now today we study when it, when the base is less than one. Suppose 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 the f of x now. Is no two, no three, no four, it's less than one. Suppose one half to the x power. Mm -hmm. So say now the thing that the base is less than one. So the base is in between zero and one. Remember, zero and one is totally illegal, and a negative is impossible. So the range or the, the interval. In which moving the base is from zero to one is special. We study now 
and from one, no include one, of course, to infinity. Yes, this. this is when the A, the base, is bigger than one. This is the case, is growth exponential, growth, growth exponential. Uh -huh, because the function is increasing, you know how the function is going up when the x increasing, no? And this is different. This is decay. I want to prove now decay exponential. I want to prove now that decay. And decay means decreasing. Aha. Uh -huh. What is the reason? The reason is clear. I know the fact that one half is equal to the minus one. So I replace, suppose, two to the minus one raised to the x. Now multiplication the exponent is the rule of the exponent is minus x. Wow, look, compare this equation and this equation. Wow, the only transformation I did was reflection. Reflection, because I changed, remember the reflection? Reflection. Reflection is when you take the function and you replace x for negative x. It's reflection, but reflection about y-axis. Conclusion, conclusion, the graph of this is exactly the same of this, but no, it's the image. Look, passing through this famous point, the universal, and this branch is in this direction, and this branch is here. One point here, negative two, four here. This in green color is the graph of the one half x. The most important characteristic is it's exponential also, but it's decreasing. So it's decreasing. It's decay exponential. Right? So see, I asked you for, for example, domain range. Ah, well, okay, okay. Domain is the same. Doesn't change. Domain is already unknown. Remember, guy, exponential function is a nice function. I set any value inside. However, the range, no. The range is the answer, the y value that offer the function is always positive. Zero, no. Negative, no. Positive. The new idea behind decay exponential gets decreasing. Decrease. Mm -hmm. This is this is this is increasing. So when the base is greater than one, is uh, is increasing, but this is decreases. And the, the green one is decreasing. And the same thing horizontal asymptote at uh, y zero is common. So this horizontal share both graphics. And the typical point O, oh, typical point R, the universal is 0, 0,1, comma, 1, comma the base. But what is the base in this case? 1 half. That is the reason I plot the point 1, 1 half is this. 1, 1 half. Look, this point, I suppose, is the point 1, comma, 1 half. Because the base is 1 half. And negative 1 is the reciprocal of the base, and reciprocal is 2. Negative 1, comma, 2. Is here over there. It's the image of that one. Okay, so, so this is the most important. Keep in mind, keep in mind the our okay. Let me show you to see more clear, much better. In this mode, I have a, a, a simulation of the potential, and you can see both in the super fantastic way. Let me show you this mode. Let me see if you see or no. This. Do you see? Do you see this? Yes or no? Answer yes. 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 Okay. This is the first one, exponential growth. We studied the last class. Okay. This is exponential growth. Uh -huh. Different point. Universal 0, 0,1, 1, 2, 2, 4. Uh -huh. Because the base is supposed to be 2, no? I suppose that two CS3 is, is different. Uh, but okay, the, when, the receipt, when the base is one half, sorry, it's this. Boom. Do you see that? The base is one half. It's completely reflection. 
ok, point by point. Suppose que this point is 3, uh -huh, because 2 to the third power is 8, this point is negative 3, mm -hmm. The only common point is the universal, que es 0, 1, but the rest is symmetric, is reflection. Do you see or no? Do you understand this or no? Tell me, clear or confusing? We come back. It's clear, Professor. Thank you. Okay, so bueno. Uh, let me come back again to the whiteboard. Whiteboard share. Wow. Do you see whiteboard? Oh, no. Yes, yes. or no? Yes. Yeah, because I want to erase everything because we start a new part. Well, it's inside the same topic, you know? Is exponential equation. Exponential equation. Okay. Exponential equation. Let me enlarge this test. Exponential equation. We study now. Because it's the thing to help me or help us. Wow, what the hell? To solving the application problem. So we uh, we understand a little bit the exponential function, no? but now I want to uh, explain how we solve an equation is exponential. And what mean exponential equation? Well, no, it's, it's equation that contain the unknown and the exponent part. So example number one, very, very trivial, very, very easy is to Raised to the three minus six equal eight. Okay, okay. Keep in mind, be aware that this is exponent, right? Okay, some students believe that this is equivalent to say two, three minus six equal eight, and apply distributive property. This is wrong. This is no. This is no exponent. This is this is no multiplication. It is exponent. It's completely wrong okay so what should i do well easy one first approach is manipulate both sides or one side depending on the problem in order to express it using the common base common base find the common base common base and i know the fact that eight is two to the third power uh-huh so now i bring down two Three minus six is equal to to the third power. Okay, to say in this moment, if you have two exponential, boom boom, and the base is the same, then the conclusion is the exponent would be the same. I, I copy. It's magic, guy. It's unbelievable. When you express it using common base, you can delete, erase the base. I don't want to do this. It's no, it's no, 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 no police, mathematically speaking, because uh, the idea behind this is if the exponential function is a one-to-one -one function, that means the one value of the x corresponds exactly only one value of the y. Therefore, two exponents are the same, the base is the same, so it's obvious that the exponent is the same. And you solve in this trivial elementary kinegate equation, que es x equals. What is the answer? Everyone follow me? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. I want to complicate more, of course, and you need help. Example two. Well, example two, if I raise to the two x plus one equal 25. Guy, in the test, I promise can you see two examples of the exponential function, this kind of the exponential function, because we have studied another more complicated. But this is the relatively easy okay, exponential function. So, so my question is, what do you believe is the common base? What 
What do you believe? Twenty-five equals five. Five Excellent. squared. Five squared. Very well. Five squared. You replace in the second line. You replace. Not twenty-five anymore. No, 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 no. It's five squared. In this case, you have two exponential functions. Same base. Therefore, the conclusion is the exponent is the same. Yeah. You copy only the exponent equal the same, and you solve in this super elementary equation. Subtracting one, two x, that's allowed, a one divided by two, x equal one half, is the answer. Okay, is it clear or no? Hmm? Everyone follow me or no? Hey. Following. Hello. Okay. Uh -huh. Fortunately, I have a system. I have the uh, Yamin and David. They always answer me. Okay, now 27, 27, 27, 27, right to the 4x. Exponent again, exponential equation. And 9, x plus 2. Mm. Wow, what is the common base? This is my first answer. I need to investigate if it's possible or no, express it both sides using one common base. What do you think? Three squared. Three squared. The nine is three squared. And what about 27? 27 is three cubes. Three cubes, very well. Three cubes. Okay, so the conclusion is the common base is obvious, okay, three. And you replace three cube raised to the four x is equal three square, okay, nine, x plus two. Okay, now multiplication the exponent because I know the rule of the exponent when you have different level, look, look, look. When you have x square cubic, is x to the six. Why? Because of the multiplication, no? different level. Suppose that you have another level, uh, four, which is 24. Where come from 24? Four times three times two. Okay? Let's do multiplication, the level of the exponent. Okay? It's three to the 12x, three times four, is equal to three, sorry, two times this. Be careful, we put a parenthesis because two multiply everything. Okay, but it's enough because if the, we have two exponential functions and the base is the same, I agree artificially, then the conclusion is the exponent is the same. So, so magically, magic, this is magic, science fiction, you convert the exponential equation to linear equation because the base disappears and you have 12x equal to x plus two. You distribute it here, why right not? to x plus four. Uh, you move, for example, 12x minus two x equal four. One equal four divided by 10 both side. Uh, x is equal, how would you reduce y now in lowest term to fifth? Boom. Final answer. Two fifth. It's easy, no big deal. Exponential equation. Uh -huh. We are studying now the elementary case in which it's possible expressing you. This is the key, the key idea, common base. Some problem is impossible to find the common base. So, so let's see, I don't know how, what happened. We studied maybe today or, to, or Wednesday. Example, what number? Uh, four. Example four. Example four is, oh, oh, it's easy. It's square root three raised to the x plus four equal three to the x. Wow, it's easy. Because my question is, what is the common base in that case? Uh, and how we can express it? Well, it's obvious. It's obvious it's three, right? The common base, no? It's obvious it's three, because three is three. 3 is 3, that is 3. I don't know, I don't care, this x is a part of 
the one power, no? And radical three is three to the one half using fraction exponent. Then you replace three to the one half raised to the x plus four is equal to three to the x. Okay, if you have two exponential and the base is the same, the conclusion is, well, well, okay, I forgot. I forgot one step is multiplication. Multiplication, 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 multiplication. So say, I recommend do one extra step, multiplication one half times this. So say three, one half time x plus four. Everything is considered exponent is equal to equal x. Now more clear, if two exponential, the base is the same, the conclusion is one half parenthesis x plus four is equal to x. Okay, let's solve this equation super easy. Well, si you don't like fraction, and me too, you multiply the entire equation by two. You multiply the entire equation by two here, two times one half is one. The state x plus four only equal to x. Because you multiply it by this and by that. No inside the box. Well, well, to see we have four is equal to x minus x, e to x minus x is x, and this is the answer, x equal four is the answer. Uh -huh, beautiful. Okay, I have another. A little bit confusing, complicated, tricky. Example five. Everyone follow me? Everyone understand the yep. thing I am? Okay. No problem. You activate the microphone. Do you have some question? Oh, use in the chat. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I need help in number five. Look, look, two is the base raised to the one exponent, that is one minus two x is equal eight is the new base on the right hand side, x plus one. Okay, how we solve it that? I asked by myself, what's the common base in this case? What do you think? Help me, help me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, Nicole, Juan Gomez, Sultanat, Juan Santana, Roberto Alcalá, Gabriel Ambers, eh, Sebastian Sander, Laria Perbais, Catricia Francis, Maria Covarrubia, Anlan, Victor Villamizar, and Alex Peraz. Okay, nobody have quite no nobody have idea. Uh, you are I totally mean, lost. Uh, what two one? is the common base for two is two. Aha, uh -huh, because two is equal to the one power. And eight is two cubed. Exactly. So the conclusion, the common base is two. This is the same, but this no. This I change to the cube raised to the x plus one. Now apply the rule of the exponent. Multiplication. This is two, three times x plus one. Now, if two exponential function and the base is the same, the conclusion, I remove the base. The base is deleted mentally. I just copy the exponent. Uh -huh. So now we transform it magically my complicated exponential equation and one linear equation exactly the same. We are doing an intermediate algebra. Distribute the property. Three x plus three. Mm -hmm. I try to solve for x. So now, suppose this one stay here. I move this three to the left. Uh -huh. And this three x stay in the right. And plus two x, I move to the right hand side. Uh -huh. We combine this in negative two, and it's a five. Part by five, both sides. 
Mm -hmm. so the answer is x equal negative two fifth. Boom, negative two fifth. Wow, fantastic. This is the answer. I check it in my paper. Good. Wow, easy. The exponential equation is easy. Well, so far. Okay, one more interesting example. I am doing too fast or I am doing okay? Too fast, okay. Okay? You're doing okay. Okay. Example six. Okay, example six is tricky. Pay attention. Example six. Example six. Well, example six is two terms. So the S exponential for the base is less than one. So it's decreasing, I suppose. And nine or four. That's it. Oh, 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 so my question is, what's the common base? Well, okay, okay. First of all, I am not clear. I need to do something. Look, two terms raised to the x power. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, nine is three to the second power, and four is two to the second power, no? Okay, it's equivalent to say three over two squared. It's clear so far. This is just manipulation property of the exponent. Right? Uh huh. But my question is we have common base now or no? No, 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 no. Because on the left hand side, we have two thirds. In the right hand side, we have three half. What should I do in order to express it? Because I need to express it in the common base. All right, one idea. Who proposed me one idea to fix it that? Remember, we need to apply the rule. We need exactly the same. One basis. What is the relationship between two thirds and three halves? Flip it, no? Do you see or no? Uh -huh. And when you flip it, what's going on with the, with the spawn? It's idea. Two over three. Two over three, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then she you said, have, um, yes. um, like square, like normal, you have square, but this one is negative square. Uh huh. Uh huh. What is the idea? You propose me a reciprocal flip of that, it's two third, right? And what is the new exponent here? And then negative two. Exactly. It's negative. Remember, the negative exponent is. Reciprocal, flip it, the fraction. Now you have ready to understand if we have two exponential and the base is the same, get two thirds, then the exponent is the same. Wow, fantastic. Thank you. It's negative to this. It's the only possibility to do. No, no, no. We have another possibility you know, to say, if she proposed me, flip it that. The right hand side, but you can flip it if you want the left hand side. You get the same result. Fantastic. I like that. Example seven now. Example seven now. Example seven is a little bit confusing. 32 raised to the x plus 2 is exponent equal 16 if the exponent is 2 minus x. Okay, again, my, I, I ask by myself, what is the potential common base I need to find? What is the potential common base? It help me to resolve that problem. Mm. I need to find something. I need to find 16 and 32 is present using the code. 16 times 2 is 32. 16. Or do you want to do start with 4 squared? You say the 16 is what? Two. 16 is 4 I squared. It's 4 squared. I agree with you. Do you uh, want to go with the highest one or the lowest one? You want to go with the lowest one, right? Uh-huh. Okay, that, that, that idea is correct. However, mm -hmm, I suppose it doesn't work. 
because how you express a 32 using base base four? It's impossible, right? Because to the second power is 16, to the third power is 64. Does it not good? However, let me try another possibility. Suppose two to the four power is, is 16 again. Yes or no? And two to the fifth power is 32. Do you see that? So the common base is obvious, is two, no four. No says two to the fifth, raised to the x plus two is equal two to the four is 16, raised to the two minus six. Now multiplication next point. Five parentheses x plus two. Two, four parentheses, two minus six. Ready to delete the base. Same base, then my equation is reduced like that. Linear equation. Okay, distribute the property. This is piece of cake. Uh -huh. This is a minus four x. Well, 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 five x plus four x. I move to the left, four x, a stay minus 10. This is a nine, and this is negative two. Divided by nine, both sides. Mm -hmm. X is equal to negative two over nine. Let me check in my paper. Excellent. This is the answer. Uh -huh. So be careful. Be careful in the moment is the crucial moment in the selection of the common base because you need to express it both sides using the common base. In this case, no four. Four working by 16, but no by 32. The common base is, is two. Okay, one more example, and that's it. And that's it. Example eight. Example eight. And that's it for the exponential equation in this approach. No? Okay, it's easy. Suppose, suppose, suppose this example gets cubic root O5 raised to the minus x. Wow, negative this morning. X is equal one over five raised to the x plus two. This is the exponential equation. Because mm -hmm. so I asked by myself, what would be the common base? What would be the common base? Ah, some idea. Common base, right? Uh, wow, 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 wow. Uh, how you manipulate both sides using the common base. Okay, for example, in the left hand side, we have cubic root of five. You know, get the root is it? Possible express it using fraction exponent one third, correct? We did before with the square root, because one half, cubic root of one third. And one over five is reciprocal, f five to the negative one. One possibility. Replace, no anymore cubic root, no f five, right to the one third, and exponent is negative x. On the other side, we have phi raised to the negative one, reciprocal exponent. Now, multiplication exponent. Phi is negative one third x, multiplication this and this. They put the sign in the front. Uh -huh. And here is a little bit more complicated because the binomial to so see you multiply negative one visible exponent, something like that. If we have two exponential and the base is the same. I create artificially, then the exponent is the same. So one third x is equal minus parenthesis x plus two. If you want to eliminate every negative, you multiply the entire equation by negative one. If you multiply the entire equation by negative one, it's one third x equal x plus two. 
everything becomes positive now. If you want to eliminate the fraction, okay, why not? You multiply the entire equation by three. Uh -huh. It's possible to do this step in one step, not two steps. You instead of multiplication by negative one, you multiplication by negative three. You get the same result, no? But okay, step by step. So it's, it's just x because three times one third is one invisible one, of course. And we have here three x so six because three times x three x three times two is six. Okay. So now finally, 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 what? Well, there are many ways to do that. You x minus three x equals 6 positive, combine like term is negative 2x, equals 6 divided by negative 2 both sides, uh, x is equal, x is equal, negative 3. Boom. This is the answer I have in my paper. Negative 3. Okay, don't worry guys. And the review packet, no, no, in the review packet you throw out the Another lecture, we continue doing this equation. A little bit more complicated, no? but this is the same idea. Uh -huh. Okay, so what's the new thing? Well, the new thing is that sometimes it's impossible doing that way. Let me explain one elementary example to understand this idea. Suppose that we have two, oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. Suppose that we have two. One equation like that, two to the x equal three. Wow, this equation is impossible. Manipulate both sides in order to express it because two is two and three is three. What power is this? So this is impossible solving using this method that we studied before. And we need to study a new tools to solve this kind. Of exponential equation. Okay? It's completely impossible in the traditional way. Uh -huh. Therefore, this is the example because the motivation to study a new function is the logarithmic function. Okay, now we study logarithmic function. Okay, let me put the logarithmic, 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 logarithmic. Rhythmic function. Okay, it's a plural because it's a family of the functions. Logarithmic functions. Let me put here logarithmic function. I forgot to put the period. Uh -huh. Now, okay, I highlight this topic because it's extremely important. Highlight. Okay, what is the definition? Definition, definition, definition of logarithmic function. Well, well, definition is logarithmic function is, 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 it is, it is the inverse. It is the inverse. It is the inverse. It is, it is the inverse. Of a potential. Wow. Look like I want to explain in detail now. This pay attention. This is a super important moment. Is you know, remember that when you study inverse, inverse is the opposite direction, no? Okay, so in this case, for example, I put example mm, multiplication, division is inverse function, addition, subtraction is inverse function also. A square and a square root is inverse function because in, if you own those or you are doing together in the, in the composition the action of both function on those each other. Okay, inverse opposite direction. So the logarithmic is the opposite direction of the exponential, uh -huh, and this uh, open a new possibility to understand this idea. Okay, so what is the idea of the of the inverse. Well, let me recall one more time, recall exponential. Exponential is f of x equal a to the x power. And you remember that a is the base, no? And the variable 
que es changing es X, que es next point. Ok. However, what is the inverse of this? Remember, when you store the inverse, we are doing the interchange X and Y. This is the key idea for the inverse function. Ok, super. Now, <coughs> well, first of all, you replace F of X for Y. It's equivalent, you know. You know, universal. Y and F of X is the same, but this is a function notation. Okay, it's useful to understand something. Okay, so now you interchange is this. Boom. And Y is, is here. And this is the inverse. But this is the inverse in implicit. Implicit form. And implicit form is no clear form. It's no clear, confusing. Uh, does I need the inverse and explicit. And explicit, just more clear. Explicit means solve for y. So like when you solve for y, look, when you solve for y, to say you apply a new notation, apply the new notation. You put the name of the function logarithmic, you put L-O-G is the name of the function. Similar to the function notation, no? the, the name is here F. The name is L-O-G. Uh -huh. There are different names, but no. this is the definition. We are doing the first step. You put a small number here, small, small number can indicate the base, and you put a parenthesis, exactly this function notation, you put parenthesis, I don't know what some people don't put the parenthesis it's completely wrong, and you put X here inside. Boom. And this is the new idea that we are working. Nobody missing. But I need to understand the interpretation of this. Okay, my opinion is not clear. Interpretation. Interpretation of this. To explain. The interpretation of the logarithmic function, I propose you one idea. Look, I propose you one idea. I propose you split the, the board in two parts. Uh -huh. In the, and the left part, I put the exponential statement. Exponential. Statement. Uh -huh. And in the right part, I put the logarithmic statement. Because we are learning now to interpret it, but we are doing more. We are doing how we change. We change the statement in both directions, so from exponential to logarithm or from logarithm to exponential. Uh, little by little, you understand the idea. Okay, 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 let me see, let me see. The first statement is two to the fifth power. Okay, 32, wow, this is a classical exponential statement. The base is two. The exponent is fine. And the result, of this exponential is 32. Oh, identification. How you convert this to exponential? A logarithmic step. Well, you put the famous word LG. And you put a magic number here, the, 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 the small number, sorry, no magic, no, small number, guess the base, guess two in this example, the base is two, look here. Uh-huh, you open the parenthesis, I have no idea what number I put here and what number we put here. Well, the answer, the answer of the logarithmic statement is always this point. Keep in mind this. This is the interpretation. The interpretation is the logarithm give me the what exponent is necessary to raise to in order to get 32. 32 is the result of the potential exponential statement and the answer of this is exponent. Okay? Let's see more example. And Mm, after you help me to find today is the day in which you use an algorithm without calculator. 
in the next class, mandatory everyone bring a query, okay? I want to show you what time, a scientific query, no? Because the logarithm is, is impossible to do it by hand, and the exponential is possible, impossible to do it by hand. Okay, one more example, three to the four power. It's 81, I put in the calculator. This is easy, and this is easy multiplication. Three times three times three times three. Three times three is nine. Three times three is nine again, and nine times nine is eighty-one. Uh, well, how you express it? This is like a logarithm statement. Well, a log The base is three. Look at that. Of the one number, I have no idea, but I know, I remember that the professor explained that the answer of the logarithm is always the exponent, is in this case four. 81. Uh, after next class, maybe I want to show you how we computed this using the calculator. But today, no. Today we are using using the intuition, mental intuition, conversion, exponential to logarithm, and so on. Okay, let me bring some example, and you help me to understand this. Okay, one, 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 easy, easy, easy. Uh, uh, logarithm is when the base is 10. Suppose logarithm base 10 of the 100. Suppose that I have no idea what the answer is. This. But the professor explained me something about if the answer for the logarithm is exponent. But the exponent of what? One of the exponent that you need to get. Okay, okay. Suppose that you have no idea. You, you put X in, because that's the thing I am looking for. I need to find X. E, you convert in that direction to exponential extent, okay? Maybe, maybe it's easy for us to see the answer. So I copy, I copy. This small number represents the base. I put 10. This 10 is this 10 guy. The exponent, mm -mm, no idea. And the answer is 100. Ooh. I change from logarithm statement to exponential statement. And this case was easier in that direction. Yeah, it's no problem. Easy because um, it's 10 squared equals 100. Uh -huh, okay. Exactly. So say 10 to the x power. Just in this moment, I have typical exponential equation, exactly the same we are doing before. This is 10 squared. Wow. So now if the base is the same, the exponential, the answer is wow, fantastic. Little by little, you understand what is the interpretation for the logarithm. What exponent? Look, look. The answer is logarithm base 10 of 102. Because. 10 to the second power is equal to 1. Okay? What about logarithm base 10? I use 10 because it's easy to see. 1,000. Using the same idea. What do you think? 10 cubed. 10 cubed. So what is the answer? Logarithm base 10 of 1,000? 3. Exactly. 3. And what about logarithm base 10 of 1 million? Six. Exactly. So say, uh, David is wow, it's easy, professor, because I count one, two, three, four, five, six, zero. One, two, three, zero. One, two, zero. Uh, what about logarithm base 10 of 10? One. Exactly. A one. A one because 10 to the one is equal to 10. And this property is universal for any logarithm. Look, look, look. Logarithm base 2 of 2 is 1. Logarithm base 3 of 3 is 1. So when they are perfect coincidence, and between the base and the number inside the argument, the answer is one. Boom. The answer is one. And what do you think about logarithm base 10? We continue to think it's easy to see. Point one. 
Ui, what the hell? Point one. Mm. Well, I have no idea. It's confusing. Does it, when it's confusing, you put X because I have no idea. And you convert this to exponential statement. The basic statement. The spawning, mm -mm, I have no idea. And the answer should be point one. Uh -huh. So now we have one exponential equation similar to the exponential equation we saw before. Okay, so I need to manipulate both sides in order to express and use in common base, no? Common base. Common base. But I know, I know, I know, I know, I know que point one is one over ten, no? In fraction. And one over ten using a base ten is ten to the minus one. Therefore, if the exponential is the same, and the base is the same, therefore the answer is x equal to negative one. Wow, amazing. Look at that. Look at that. So far, the logarithmic we are doing before, a uh, hundred uh, thousand million is positive number, right? However, when you put here a number less than one, point one, the logarithm is negative. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. So I asked by myself, what about, what about, what about logarithm of base 10? I continue with the 10, but the 10 is important, or oh, it's easy to see, relatively easy, of the 0 0.01. What do you think? Using the same argument, the same logic. All right, all right. Somebody asked for the chat. All right. Uh, it, 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 you, what, repeat again. Oh, no, no. Repeat again. I can see in the chat. Sorry. All right, let me see. Negative. Diego Hernandez say negative. Okay. Diego Hernandez say que es negativo. Okay. Diego Hernandez say. Okay, great. Suppose que eh, I have no idea, I change to exponential statement. The base again is X, the base, the exponent, no idea. Uh -huh. This is 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 is equivalent to say one over 100. If one over 100 is equal to one ten square and it's a 10 to the minus. It's obvious then X is equal to minus. And so on, and so on. So you continue zero point, logarithm base 10 or 0 0.001 is negative three, right? Uh -huh. One super important, super important uh, logarithm case, logarithm base 10 of one. Mm. What do you think? One. One. I am totally confused about the world. I have no idea. Uh -huh. Come on, let me see the chat. So I the answer. It's zero. It's zero. It's zero. The answer is zero. Let me prove that the answer is zero. Look. Okay. You convert this. The base is 10. It's this number. The exponent, mm -mm, no idea. Equal one. But I know the fact that 10 to the zero power, so no 10, any number, any number or any expression raised to the zero power is one. Therefore, the answer is zero. Okay. So the conclusion, logarithmic, when the base is 10, si es another base, well, maybe a little bit different happen. But okay, when the base is 10, logarithm base 10, of one is zero. Or logarithm of the number greater than one, base 10, of course. Base, uh, suppose 10, 100, 1,000, a million is positive number. However, logarithm of base 10 of 0 0.1, or 0 0.001, 0 0.0001, isn't it? Okay, 
ending. Okay, okay. Let's practice a little bit and you help me. Okay, I know the number, no base takes. You know, we are, are using different base. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, don't forget to bring calculator next lecture. I, I, I want to recall in the video, in the email when I send the video, right? I want to erase. Okay. Now focus it. I need answer in this problem. Uh, again, suppose this ID. Suppose logarithmo base 4 of 64. Compute that by hand. I promise the next lecture we are doing using calculator. But today is the, the day of the intuitive idea. What is the meaning of logarithm? What is the answer? The answer is exponent, no? Exponent. What is exponent? It's necessary to raise. So suppose that you have no idea. You put X and immediately you convert to exponent. So this R wrong indicate conversion to exponent. And when you convert to exponential, you ask by yourself, what is the base in this part? Well, the base is four. And this is a small four, you put like a big four. Okay, the exponent is the answer. Okay, I'm looking for, I have no idea, equals 64. Okay, so this statement, the logarithmic statement is equivalent 100% to this statement case exponential. And maybe it's clear for me, for you, to understand this. Okay, what is the common base in this case? Well, I suppose it's four. Because I know it's four I know. cubed. Four cubed. Therefore, what is the answer? The answer is X three. equals three. Uh -huh. you say you replay here. Look, logarithmic base four or sixty-four is three. It's the final answer. You follow me? Okay. This is example, example, example one. Let me go. Example one. Example two. Can you help me? Logarithm, one well, of these I did before. Logarithm, logarithm base five of one over 125. Mm. And totally, totally lost. I don't understand anything. When you don't understand anything in the logarithmic statement, okay, I don't understand. I change to exponential. And when you don't understand anything in exponential statement, you change to, to in both directions. Okay, to, let me change to exponential because I am not understand very well this statement. What is the base? Oh, the base is five. So this is a small five, I copy big five, x equal one over 125. Okay, more clear. So, so now I need to find common base. Common base, well I know the five. Common base, common base, common base, common base. I know the five. Okay, 125 is five cubic, no? So five times five times five. So you replace one over five cubic. And this is reciprocal to so say five to the minus three. Wow, so we have two exponential, same base. I use a common base and the answer is negative. Okay, so in this case, it makes sense that when the number inside the argument of the logarithm is less than one and the base is greater than one. It's a contradiction, you see. It's obvious that the answer is negative. So you replace here by negative three. That's my final answer. Uh -huh. One mnemonic divide called this is, well, the base is, is greater than one. The base is always positive. Never is negative, uh, it's completely illegal, you know, in the exponential. Because when the base is greater than one, and the number in the argument is less than one, there's a contradiction, and the exponent would be negative to 
to fix in that situation. Okay, let's see another example. Similar example three. Que es logaritmo of, wow, one half. Now the base is fraction. It's possible, yes, it's possible. Remember the base is or real number, no, non-negative, okay? Zero, no, and one. No. This is to totally trivial. Of the four. It's equal X. Mm -hmm. Suppose compute by hand, no calculator. After I, I want to explain how you do this in calculator. Uh -huh. so now you have no, no excuse to compute any logarithm because we can do by hand. One, oh, no, but not always is possible by hand, but on the calculator oh, with 100%, you can do that. Okay, so I change to understand much better to exponential. Guys, and the test on paper, you are doing exactly the same. You put the arrow and you put two exponential. I understand very well what you do. Okay, so now the base is one half. You put big one half. The exponent, I have no idea, x equal four. Get the result. Okay, okay, okay. This is my new exponential equation. I need to find common base. Okay, one of four. It's obvious gets two to the second power. And one half. <coughs> it's obvious gets two to the minus one. You replace. It's a two to the minus one. A to the x is equal to the second power. Multiplication two to the minus x is equal to the second power. Okay, if we have two exponential and the base is the same, then minus x equal to, but I need to solve for x because I multiply by negative one both sides, x is equal to minus. Boom. And one more time, you can see, wow, wow, look at that. In this case, the base is less than one. And the number inside the argument is greater than one. This is a contradiction, therefore the answer is negative again, by the same reason. Keep in mind, keep in mind, this idea, this idea, they are contradiction is negative. See, no, see both are less than one, or both are greater than one, then the answer of the logarithm is positive. It's obvious. The answer is negative too. Negative. Okay, I'm boring. I'm boring to do that. Okay, that's the end. See, you say in a few words, what is the interpretation of logarithm statement? One well, logarithm give me what the exponent is necessary to raise, uh, raise, raise the, the base in order to get the result inside the argument of the logarithm. Okay, what is the most important property of the logarithm? Property, now, property, property, property. Of logarithm Okay, there you go. Let me enlarge a little bit. And let me highlight because it's important. It's terribly good. Okay, property number one, domain and range. Both. Okay, I recall. I recall. I recall. Recall here in the corner. Recall. Recall domain and range for the exponential function. Domain is all real number, nice function. And range, no, is from zero to infinity. This is for exponential, any exponential function. But the, the logarithmic function, mm -mm, it's the inverse. Yeah, I know, because we are told in the first chapter what's going on in the domain and range and the inverse. It's, it's interchange, because basically you interchange x and y you interchange let me come here interchange x and y therefore you interchange domain and range 
domain of the logarithmic is the range of the exponential and the range of the logarithm is the domain of the uh, exponential. Okay, okay, to say I, I can understand that the range, that the, the answer for the logarithm is positive or negative. So, see, however, this is a more crucial moment. However, you cannot, unfortunately, plug in negative number inside the logarithm. No, it's all defined. It's out of the domain. And zero mm -mm, is also undefined. And positive, well, positive, yes. Logarithmic base, you know, any base, A, A, A. Okay, so it's totally out of the domain. Logarithmic, when you put in the calculator by mistake, you put logarithmic of zero or logarithmic of negative number automatically. The matches in the display is, is domain error. Domain error. Okay? Uh -huh. uh, uh, so, say, what is the graph? Well, what is the graph? What is the graph? Do you remember? Do you remember that the exponential equation, the universal point is the point 0, 1? This is a universal point. Universal point. And the logarithmic, the universal point is 1,0. No? Makes sense, eh? Because you interchange x and y. This is universal. Universal point. So any, any, any graph of the logarithm passing through the points 1,0. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And the typical point, and the typical, typical, Typical points, typical point is one of the universal, it's obvious, it's the first point that you plot in the graph. Uh -huh. And the base, and the base A, comma one, because logarithm base A of A is one, you know this fact. And the reciprocal of the base is one over A, the answer is negative one. So logarithmic base A of one over A is negative one. Now one example, one typical example to understand. Suppose that the base is two. It's easy, in my opinion, to understand. A one comma zero, okay, two comma one, and half comma negative one. Because logarithm base two of two is one. And logarithm base two of one half is negative one. Uh -huh. and, and you see now, you see now, you see clear now, you see clear now, the logarithmic graph, half, 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 instead of the famous horizontal acid that we have in the exponential, no, that become in the logarithm like a vertical acid. Remember, this is typical. Typical at x equals zero. And this is typical. Um, you remember the swap. And the, you find the inverse function, the asymptote in the region. It's supposed to be horizontal. When you find the inverse, become like a very asymptote. This is classic. Let's see in decimals more clear, more clear, more clear. And maybe is increasing or decreasing the graph is similar to the exponential, depending on the base. If the base is positive or positive, no, sorry. If the base is greater than one, it's increasing function. And if the base is fraction in between zero and one, it's decreasing. Let's see clear and elegant in this moment. Okay. Let me share. Okay. Let me close the chat. Let me share a screen for the Desmos. I suppose can you see Desmos now. Yes or no? Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? I see it. I see yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Does it, let me try to delete that part. This is the classical exponential. 
base two. Look, let me show you. Uh, now I want to put together the the logarithmic, the logarithmic, the logarithmic base two. Boom. Look at that. Okay, it's expecting, very, very, very expecting. Look, the point one by one, interchange X and Y. One comma zero, or zero comma one, sorry, one comma zero. One comma two, two comma one. Two comma four, four comma two. Yeah, and the negative part is exactly the same. Okay, one more important thing, well, it's symmetric, it's expecting with the line equal, Y equal X, it's expecting. Uh huh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and uh, the exponential. Look, let me erase the exponential. The exponential. This is the logarithmic. This is the logarithmic. The exponential half. This is, this is the exponential alone. Look, the exponential half, the famous horizontal. No? Horizontal has to do. However, the logarithmic half, half a vertical. A vertical. Well, half this line. Half this line. Get this line. Boom. Let me delete this. And I see how <clears throat> flashing, it flashing. The very gas. Do you see or not? Okay, okay. So, so now in the inverse in the inverse function, <clears throat> okay, the classical the horizontal acid become like a vertical acid at the same value. Y equals zero, x equals zero. Okay, this is the idea behind the logarithmic graph. And remember, the most important is the common point, the typical point, the universal point, the three point that we need to plot that. Uh, let's do it after for the another base, base three, base five, base four. Okay, uh, 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 let's see what happened. Mm -mm -mm. Now look, with the uh, exponential decay, this is the base one half. We started before, remember? We have the classical point, 0, 0,1, 1, 1,1 1 half, the 0.5 in decimal, and negative 1 comma. Uh -huh. Now, 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 I want to share with you uh, the logarithm associated with this. It's a logarithm of base half. Boom. Look, 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 look. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. Okay, logarithm, logarithm, exponential, exponential. The exponential, I delete the exponential. No more exponential. This is the logarithm. Base one half, base one half, point five, base one half, point by point, point by point. Look, okay. Suppose the famous zero comma one universal. Now at one comma six, another point. Suppose this point is in the in the exponential decay. Is this curve? Let me change the color. Let me change the color. Let me change the color, logarithmic, another color. Let me put purple color. Purple color is logarithmic. And red color is exponential. Base one half. This famous point is 1,5, and the, and the logarithm is 0.5, comma 1. So I interchange x and y. And you see clear that our graph, red and blue, Blue, no, purple color. Purple is logarithmic, red is exponential decay. Uh, both are decreasing function, it's going down, and it's symmetric with respect to the line y x. Uh -huh. And the same situation happened with the asymptote. The, the exponential has the horizontal at y equals zero, and the logarithmic has vertical. You see the logarithmic is the purple color approached to the axis, but never touch. Look. Let me make it zoom. Never touch. It's a classical behavior, behavior of the vertical acid. Do you follow me? Do you understand the idea? Uh huh. Okay. Let's come back to the whiteboard. Let me try. Why more now? So this is a moment in which you are almost ready, but not yet, not yet, to solving any equation. 
in world exponential or logarithmic. But before, I need to explain something. I, I need to explain the standard. The standard, the standard logarithmic function. What is that? Well, unfortunately, in our calculator, let me try to bring the image of the calculator. Okay, I suppose that we have the image of the calculator in this folder. Maybe here. No, 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 no. Maybe here. Yes, I got it. Okay, guys, this is the calculator. Well, I have, pss, I have a lot of calculators. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven calculators. But I recommend this calculator because it's easy, 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 easy. It's, it's cheaper, twelve dollars. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Um, it's fantastic. Okay, so it, the 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 calculator has a standard, a standard logarithm. That means that not all the logarithms we have available in our calculator. No, no. Okay, then, <clears throat> what, is the, what is that? Well, the first one is called a comb. The first standard is called comb. Logarithmic. Uh, logarithm. And common. The base is 10. Uh -huh. So now, when you write logarithm base 10 of x, normally everyone in the world write like that. Okay, log g of x. And the base is only is missing because you suppose default k is 10. Okay, so it's this key. In our calculator, look that LG. Uh huh. And this is common using in science, physics, chemistry. Okay. However, we have another, which is natural. Natural way. Uh, and natural logarithm, the base is one irrational number, case e. I want to explain where I come from this. You said log e of x, and the normal representation is ln of x. So you see ln, default, you suppose that the base is e. And this is this guy. Uh, and this is frequently used in calculus. Is easier using natural logarithm in calculus. Uh, in sign, normally is using the common logarithm. We are confronting this, this irrational number. This is irrational. E is irrational. Irrational. Okay, like uh, for example, the very well known pi, which is irrational, is approximately 3.14. 15, 9, da, 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 and you have infinity non repeated de decimal places digit. And E is approximately it's irrational also 2.718288. And ba, 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 non repeated. It's also irrational. And the idea where I come from this is a little bit complicated. Is, is, look, is, when you have e is equal to the limit when the x approaches to infinity, so a, lar a large number of this expression, one plus one over x divided a uh, raised to the x power. Okay, this is the definition for the e. So is um, you can see the idea in um, finals. Uh, and one thing is called it compound interest. Uh, it's similar that formula of the compound interest 
uh -huh, uh, however, when you find or when you change the compounding, so the number of the period, okay, you finance something. Suppose, uh, for example, okay, the finance uh, is monthly or is quarterly or is yearly or is daily. So this change to so say is uh, very to this. So I, I promise that I want to explain in detail this formula and the application, the specific finance and compound interest. Okay, okay, okay. So, so now this is a moment. This is a moment, guys. Sorry, today is the day for the, a lot of theoretical, theoretical thing. Okay, so keep in mind, bring the calculator next time, right? Let me let me summarize super quickly the most important property A of the logarithmic. It's a property, but a property help me to manipulate the equation. Okay, this is this is open the new door to manipulate something. It's a property. Property. Uh, of logarithmic. Okay, you will hear it. Okay, we have eight properties. Can help me to manipulate logarithmic property. Okay, I highlight because super important, super important. Keep in mind our property, guys. A property. Number one, we're using every day. Logarithmic of the any base of one is equal zero. Example, to understand more clear, logarithm of base two of one is zero. Logarithm when the base is not specification, because it's 10, default, invisible 10 here, is also zero. And LM of one, put in the calculator, the natural is zero. So when the, when the answer, when the argument here is one, at default is zero. This is the first property. Keep in mind, keep in mind, keep in mind. Second property. Logarithm of the any base of the same number is one. Wow, it's easy, look, suppose. Logarithm base 10 or base 2 of 2 and 1. And they are perfect coincidence between the logarithm nah, eh, common of 10 and 1, we discussed it before, remember, right? And ln of e, ooh, again is 1 because the base is e. Wow, fantastic, right? Keep in mind when the number here and the number in the base is perfect coincidence, the answer is 1. It's obvious, right? Because what is exponent? It's necessary to raise a in order to get a. It's so, obvious one, no? a to the one is a. Express it. This statement in exponential. Boom. Okay. Uh -huh. Now the connection or the relation g between exponential and logarithmic. We discussed it before. If they are inverse functions. If you put together, so the, what is the classical idea? You have a function. And you form the composition for its inverse, the answer is identity. You know that in different direction, this or this. Exactly the same we are doing in between exponential and logarithm. In different order, for example, you put logarithm of base A of the one exponential. Wow, look at that. It's X. It's like a, like a, like a, that part disappear. Look, cancel out. On those, each other. Okay? Exponential inside the logarithm, cancel out the, expo the, the exponential and the logarithm, and the answer is like that. A similar idea for this. Likewise, property number four, when you put exponential and logarithm again, but in different order, like that, look, exponential first and logarithm second, again, it's identity. That part is canceled out. Do you follow me? Okay, this is the fourth first property. We have four more. 
five, six, seven. It's super important. Every day we are working with the five, six, seven property. Five is easy to understand because five is when you have logarithm of the any base, and we have inside the parentheses the multiplication to expression. I want to call M and N is equal to the sum. Logarithm base A of M plus logarithm base A of M. Mm -hmm. and likewise, property six say what is division? Logarithm base A of M divided by M division inside is subtraction. And it's logical. Because remember the logarithm represent exponent. And you know, when you divide, you divide two things that have the common base, you subtract in the exponent. And similar situation happen in the, in the logarithm. Okay, now, 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 the property number seven. So basically, this is the most frequently we are using. Five, six, and seven. Okay, often we use that. Suppose that you have logarithm of any base, of of a power m raised to the r power and the power r is is flying outside the logarithm this is magic this is r time l o g a of m this is most important property because then the in the exponential equation the exponent has become like a factor in front Okay, so do you convert the exponential equation to to a linear equation? Okay, without do the common base. It's another possibility, another fantastic possibility. Okay, now I I put a, the last property. Uh huh. Well, you need that property. You need that property. Uh, to change the base. Suppose, que, suppose, suppose. Yeah, I want to explain again next class the property six. It's, it's, it's important because this property A has a special name. It's a change of base formula. Change of base formula. Uh, and to say it's logarithm of base A of x is equal one division logarithm of base b of x divided by logarithm of base b of a okay interpretation is what is that suppose 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 suppose, suppose. okay to say now i present this problem e after in the last class we solved the situation okay and remember everyone bring calculator suppose 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 okay i want to compute Logarithm base, 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 base three of 81, suppose. Well, I can do by hand, I can do by hand, but I know that it's impossible to do by hand. So now I use in the calculator, right? But on the calculator, unfortunately, we have only a standard base, a standard logarithm. Oh, L-O-G or L-O-G? Well, well, you see, I make a decision because I don't remember very well how we do that. Well, you convert non-standard K3, non-standard K3 to a standard case LOG or LA. And you put in a calculator LOG of 81. It's the same number here. I can call X in the formula. No? This is my formula. Uh -huh. Divided by this, divided by LOG of three. And you put in a calculator this. I want to show you how. Next class, Wednesday. Uh -huh. Does it, okay, okay. Oh, 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 why not? You can use it in natural. Yes, you can. LN of 81 divided by LN of three. Uh -huh. By the way, the answer is four. Four, right? Uh -huh. Because this is easy, do it by hand or relatively easy to do it by hand. Okay, and after we check it out, 
uh, in the next class without calculator, no? Pero suppose without calculator. In this case, you have no calculator. We are in the jungle, no calculator. Now, logarithm of 3 of 81 is equal. I have no idea. I change to exponential statement, exponential statement. The base is 3. I put the big 3. This is small 3. I become like this. The exponent, I have no idea. A is equal 81, but I know that 81 is 3 to the 4 power because 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 4 times is 81. Therefore, x is equal 4. End of story. And so I want to illustrate that you get the same answer using the formula. Therefore, you are ready for compute any logarithm by yourself using calculator or using the by hand. Sometimes by hand is have limitation, it's weak. Uh -huh. And so now it's powerful doing the calculator. So recommendation, everyone bring the calculator next day. Wednesday, we open, explain the calculator and the standard uh, logarithm and the application. Okay, guys, that's enough for today.